Okay, I'm out in the sheet metal shop. I've got my camera mounted above the, the table so I can lay this out. And I'll, probably, I'll have to stop it many times because this will take a couple hours. Uh, I'm going to build two elbows, two 8x16 elbows. And I'll just make a quick quick sketch so I can figure out everything I need to do. I'm going to use a four foot square because the metal's four foot wide. And then I'm going to draw an arc out. Or actually, I'm going to mark a quarter inch around it. And then my flanger is uh, 3 16 So... I'm going to put my first, my actual arc that will be the edge of the, the duct at that quarter inch line, I'll flange it 3 16 and that way when I cut it off I won't be cutting out to a flat any, any void in the metal so I'll end up with a nice circle instead of having a flat spot is what would happen if you tried to cut right a circle out to the outside. Uh, do the same thing with the inside, I'm going to adjust that in a quarter so I'm actually not going to be quite 8, I'm going to make each, each radius 7 and 3 quarters which will be nearly as good and it's going to make this whole job a lot easier. So you see I've got an elbow over here and an elbow over there. I've got the rails for it on out of a four foot piece of metal. I've done the math for the the wrap the wrappers. So I've got the outside wrapper, uh, the diameter. So the formula is going to be diameter times pi and I've got uh, 47 and a half because remember I'm coming in a quarter on each side and times pi is 149.226. I'm going to divide that by 4 because there's 4 pieces. That's 37.31, some more digits. And so what I'm going to do is figure this out, convert this to sixteenths. I will, I subtracted the 37, uh, multiply the, the 0 .31 by 1 6, and that gave me 4.9, so that's 5 sixteenths. So the answer is 37 5 sixteenths. The inner circle is the same the same procedure, the inner circle 7 and 3 quarter, so that times 2 to find the diameter, which is 15 and a half times pi, 48.6948, divide that by 4, you get 12.1737, subtract the 12, multiply the 0.1737 by 16, that gives me 0.277, I'll round that up to 3, it's 12 and 3 sixteenths. So 4 inside wrappers at 12 and 3 sixteenths, and the uh, four outer wrappers will be 37 and 5 sixteenths. I'm going to stop here. I'm going to scratch out a four foot square and a quarter inch, uh, a quarter inch border and two center lines. And I'll come back and arc it out. And we'll I'll start the video again. Okay, we're going to arc this out. And I've got my trammel points set uh, for the outer edge that will become the flange. And what I did. It's just mark. I don't, I, I don't use a marker. I don't like ink. Uh, it gets all over me. So, sorry. You're just gonna have to imagine uh, if you can't see the lines. So, I came in a, a sixteenth off the edge, and I'm just gonna arc this around. I'm sorry. My ceiling is. Uh, just an eight-foot ceiling, so I couldn't get my camera far enough away so you could see it all. You're only going to see a quarter of what's going on. And back around to where we started, hopefully. There we go. There we go. There's that one. And go ahead and do... The actual inside edge of the smaller one. Let's, let's get that started nicely. Let's get this lined up nicely. Okay, okay, so now I'm going to do the outer edge on the, the actual edge uh, that will be folded into that will be that will determine the, the edge of the outer side.
for some reason that's that's uh, getting off. So I'm just gonna make sure that's set. that's uh, that's the problem probably. So fortunately, I don't have to cut to this line. So if it's goofed up, it's okay. Enough, enough screwing around with that because I can, like I said, I don't have to cut to that line. That's only there in case the flanger malfunctions. I will be cutting this one. So I got a better pair of dividers. Uh, the ones I was just using were some Menards. Cheap okay, I don't see if, I don't know if you can see those hash marks. But I put hash marks around, small hash marks around part of the circle so you can see it before I cut All it. Alright, we'll cut this up. Four sections. Normally, I put a one inch flange on an elbow on either side to make it easier to put together. But being that this is a 16 with an 8 inch, almost an 8 inch stroke, radius, side radius, I would have had to waste a lot of metal to do that. You know, I would have instead of a, a 4 foot seam, so I would be using a 4 foot sheet. Or I do have a way that I can use less. I, I draw 45s out. And a uh, method I've figured out how to save metal when making big elbows, and you can kind of interlock them. The inside's an crescent, so the inside radius is an offset them. But it's, it's kind of complicated, and I don't have to do that. You can just, you don't have to leave that inch for that plan. So. And we'll get it into manageable pieces. take his camera away, but evidently he's taking pictures he shouldn't be, I guess. So uh, I've got a bucket over there, I throw that trash in. Cut out one side here. You don't want to wait for the sign of the Garfunkel concert to be rescheduled, or if they are, and for some reason you can't go. You will get a refund for your tickets. You can check it out at the Simon and Garfunkel website. See? That was easy. I started having symptoms of menopause when I was 47 years old. The hot flashes and nights. Yeah, I should have run up my truck, got some right. 50 pounds was irritable. So I could, uh, just not myself. As a registered nurse, he's scrapping this on the, the other side because this is a hard way to cut this. Of history of breast cancer in my family. Plus, you and me are not going to make a change so like so I just did. This is easier for me. Just a few weeks, the hot flashes stopped. Yes, they stopped. I have been working with Amber for almost a year now. I've dropped so much weight, I'm no longer irritable. I sleep great, and I have a ton of energy. One of the most important aspects of this treatment is that there are no side effects. I highly recommend Amber. Signed, Carol Richardson, RN. And very satisfied Amberin customer. For your missed free supply of Amberin, call 1-800-343-4741. A limited number of first free trials are available. Call 1-800-343-4741. Probably added this out. Probably bored. Switching off here. 343-4741. Or visit 
visit StopFlashes.com. Everyone knows that Geico can save you money on car insurance. You'd have to be living on Jupiter not to know that. Want to talk discounts? Geico's got a list of discounts as long as a gorilla's arm, including good driver discounts, multi-car discounts, and discounts for auto safety features. In short, Geico's out to save you as much money as humanly possible. Let's see. As much money as humanly possible. For free there's, there's one. Okay. So they're all cut out. I'll knock the side. That's the Okay, all the pieces are bent up. Uh, we got four solar sizes inside. Real and I've got to bend these edges up here to start the flanger. Something like that. 